I thought the film was absolutely excellent. I thought the film was really, really professional and very convincing and it was just well done. It didn't uh, sort of strike you as a kind of conspiracy theory oriented. It was educational, it was interesting. I also thought that it was a great shame that they never made uh, films like this at the time of the uh, campaign eight years ago. I mean, this was so good, it would have really switched those marginal voters in the other way around, so to speak. However, uh, I'm uh, actually half German and I've spent uh, a lot of my life working abroad and uh, running also EU uh, Horizon projects. And when the uh, vote happened, so my identity is definitely belonging to the EU, but when the vote happened, it was like a, it was like a, a death, a, a massive loss. It really hurt. But I've come to realise that a lot of the reason for the uh, vote going the way it did was the ap uh, not so much the apathy, but the fact that the Brits have no feeling of belonging to Europe in the first place. So I think that although, I mean, I went on all the marches for Leave for Europe, but now I think that because there's this kind of uh, isolationist feeling that Britain has always had since the days of the empire, we've always been apart from Europe. I think we're still feeling that way. No one feels the sense of belonging to Europe that perhaps I do myself, or I did. They don't feel this. When I talk with people, they don't care either way. So I do wonder whether campaigning so hard to rejoin will actually be the right way to go. I do wonder. And I do feel also, because I work a lot with the EU and the commissioners and people in the EU and EU projects, that a massive change has happened. Before we left the EU, we had the ascendancy in the EU. We, we really called the tune. We had a wonderful position in the EU. And I think that now, since we've left, we've lost that and the EU countries have lost complete respect for us and we're very much second fiddle. And I do feel that if we ever do rejoin, we will go in with far worse terms than we had before. It will take us a long time to get into it. And when we do get in, we'll never have the rights and privileges that we had uh, eight years ago. But we'll so be that, better off than we are now, though, wouldn't we? Uh, I don't know. I, it's like a bereavement for me, OK? I really felt it. And I, every day I listen to the news and the mess the Conservatives were making of it. And But now I've come to the feeling that, you know, it's, it's, it's a post-bereavement feeling. I think there's so many other problems in this world. These two wars that we're very much occupied with at the moment that have kind of substituted for that bereavement. And I, I just don't, I don't, I, 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 I'm kind of skeptical whether uh, to try and campaign to rejoin I think it's a really good idea and it's really courageous and I think it's worth doing, but I think it'll be so long before we get back in again. That's my feeling. It'll have to be done in stages by joining single market. That's probably how it can be done. But let's see. Let's see. I'll support your organisation, whatever happens. Okay.